Hey, what up, people? This is Paul. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And today I got a song for you by Asa called Trot Out. And what I wanted to show you about this mix are some dub delay effects that I incorporated. And first off, let's hear it. Yo, yo, them try to take this mind, but them can't, though. So we have to tell them, trot out, trot out. So we have to set this thing straight, no. We know you know them snow, so them have to follow. Okay, now let's hear in solo what I'm going to talk about. As you can hear, I created some old school type dub delay effects that go with the track. And what I did, I copied parts of the backing track on a separate track. You also could do it with a sand instead and automating it, but I like to do it this way because it's more obvious to see. And this is just the raw track without any plugins on. Right? So I just copied it. Then first off, I started with a vocal rider, which has obviously nothing to do with the effect itself, but let me show it to you anyway. So it's just performing some volume automation on the vocals. Then I'll have a pitch correction tool. Which you can hear more obviously. Right. And then let's continue with um, the actual effect. I applied a favorite of mine which is the H delay. I used a 16th delay. I went with the tempo of the song, which is 70 BPM, and then gave it some feedback, of course, some pretty drastic feedback. Turned it out all wet, because I'm not using it as a send, but applied it on an insert. So I can decide with the volume knob here how much I want the effect in the track. And I turned this analog button off, because I don't like any noise in it. I did some high passing, so the muddy frequencies wouldn't get in the way. And this is what it sounds like just uh, with the H delay on. And you could have gone even more drastic with the feedback or automated like this. Right, if you want to go for this really dubby type of delay. But I just wanted to apply it in a subtle way so that you can barely hear it but instead feel it. And then what I did, I applied a stereo spread. Okay, let me play it without the effect. And with. So you can hear how wide the effect gets. And I did this because I wanted to have the effect more on the sides and not so much in the middle of the spectrum so that it wouldn't cover up um, the other vocal uh, tracks. And I mostly applied the effect on the upper frequencies, which you can see here. Here you have the lower frequencies, but I didn't have so much low frequencies in it anyway because I applied a high pass filter before. And the last plugin I added was a plate, so the effect would grow in size, get bigger in the picture. Without. With. And let me exaggerate it for you. 
without with okay let me bag it up and for this reverb send I applied some EQ um, I scooped up some 1k in the middle so um, the reverb effect wouldn't get in the way of the vocals I scooped out some lows and some highs and I applied this vintage plate by Lexicon which is pretty nice and let's hear it in context Okay guys, I hope I inspired you with this tutorial to be more creative with your delays, try out some new things, whatever sounds good is good, right? So make sure to subscribe to this channel, leave a comment, visit my personal website paulhouse.com and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye guys.